What we're going to be looking at here is a zero interest bearing note that's exchanged for equipment here and it's going to be where we have a notes payable with installment payments. And for our example here, Corporation A purchased the computer system here on 1231-20X1 by paying $100,000 down and agreeing to pay the balance in four equal installment payments of $80,000 each. And they would be paid here at the end of each of the next four years here in 1231. And it's assumed that there's an interest of 8% implicit in this purchase price. Here we're going to be looking again at a zero interest bearing note where there's no stated rate of interest on the note exchanged, but the interest is implied in the price uh, exchange here. They exchange the note here and the note calls for uh, four payments of $80,000 each and also there was $100,000 paid down here to purchase this computer system. So let's go and look at how, what we have to do here in, to determine the um, capitalized value of this computer system here and also the um, uh, input or the interest that would be charged here on this on this note here at least from Corporation A the debtors perspective here where they issue this note in exchange for this computer system and they have to come up with the um, effective interest that they're going to be paying on this note so again the note has installment payments there are four payments here at eighty thousand dollars each so that would be a total of three hundred and twenty thousand dollars paid on the payments plus there was a hundred thousand dollars paid down and again we have eight percent interest rate that we're going to be looking at here. Okay, so let's look at it here and let's first start out with this uh, notes payable where we got the $80,000 for payments that was $320,000. So that's what we're going to be looking at as our cash payment here on this note. Now, to determine the a discount on this notes payable what we have to do is we have to take the present value of these annuity payments here those eighty thousand dollar payments here at eight percent over four years stick that into your financial calculator or in this case i'm using excel here and you discount those uh, those eighty thousand dollar annuity payments back at eight percent over four years their present value here is two hundred sixty four thousand nine hundred and seventy dollars okay so first off we're going to have to look at a discount on this notes payable here so we've got the uh, note payments here three hundred twenty thousand compared to their present value here of two hundred sixty four thousand nine hundred and seventy and you can see here we have a discount on the notes payable here fifty five thousand thirty dollars the payments here are greater than the present value of those payments. So the discount on notes payable $55,030 and that we're going to have to, that's going to be our effective interest that we're paying on this note and we're going to have to amortize that. But before we do that, let's go and let's determine what the capitalized value of this computer system is here. Okay, so what we do is we take the present value of those payments that we calculated, that would be up here, plus the down payment of $100,000. So that's going to give us a capitalized value of here in $364,970. So that's what we would capitalize on our balance sheet here for this computer system. Present value of that, those annuity payments, 264970 plus the down payment of $100,000. So that's what we had to do here is we had to discount those payments back, those annuity payments back here as we call it, based on that implied interest rate here that was implied on the note. It was, there was a zero interest bearing note here, but there was an implied interest rate. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is we have to determine or look at our schedule here for the note discount amortization. Remember that was the $55,030 here. We have to amortize that. So let's go down and look at our amortization schedule. And again, we're using the effective interest here for amortizing it. So what we would do here on our schedule, we would start out with our balance here. That's the present value of those payments and we of $264,970. That's what we calculated up above here. And then we have to amortize those four payments down here to a zero value here at the end of the fourth year. Because and, and what we would also have on our amortization schedule, we have the payment amount, those four payments here, $80,000 each at the end of the next four years here, total cash payments here of $320,000. So to determine our effective or uh, uh, interest here on this note, we use that implied interest rate here of 8%. That's what we're, it's implied here in a note. So to determine the interest 
expense here for the first year. Just take the beginning balance, $264,970 times that implied interest rate here of 8%, and you're going to come up with an interest expense here of $21,198. So compare that to the installment payment uh, pri uh, payment made here of $80,000. The difference here gives us the uh, amortization here of the principal that we have to amortize down of $58,802. Simply the $21,198, subtract that here from the $80,000, gives you that amortization, our principal amortization here. So take that amortization here of $58,802. 802 here, subtract that from your beginning balance of 264,970. That gives us your next uh, next year's balance here, 206,168 dollars. Take that times the implied interest rate, you get your uh, interest expense here for the next period, and compare that to your payment. That'll give you your effect of uh, principal amortization here. Subtract that from the beginning balance, you get your new balance here. And what you have effectively have to do is you have to amortize here that present value here of those payments of 264, 264,970 down to a zero amount. So if we look at the summary on this table here, you see we had our cash payments here, $320,000 for over the four years here. And then the actual interest here that we're going to record here for this um, note here on our income statement was 50 is going to be $55,030 over those four years and that happens to e equal the discount that we calculated on the note here and then our amortization well that was just the $264,970 amortized down here to zero. Okay so what we've done here we've got this um, amortization here our, our note our discount amortization here on this note and what we had to come off, determine here was the effective interest rate here that we're going to record on our income statement each of the next four years here okay so let's go and look at how we'd record that okay moving up here again corp a exchange this note for the computer system here and all we're going to be looking at is recording the purchase here those cash payments that have to be made and also the interest that we're going to uh, have the interest expense on this zero interest bearing note so starting out here with our purchase date here so we would set up our notes payable that was issued here in 1231x1 here and that we would have credited here for three hundred and twenty thousand dollars those four installment payments of eighty thousand dollars each here that's 1231x1 here when this note was issued and then moving over to our cash here uh, the notes payable is then on balance sheet as a liability here and then moving over to our cash account here on our balance sheet in our asset area here we have uh, the down payment that was paid here in 1231x1 of a hundred thousand dollars now the other thing we would have here uh, we have to set up our um, discount here on our notes payable remember we calculated that to be fifty five thousand thirty dollars so debit our discount here on our notes payable by that amount here and that's again on 1231x1 here at the issue of the note and then over on our assets here this is where we capitalize this computer system that's the present value of the notes plus this down payment so we would have debited that here for three hundred sixty four thousand nine hundred and seventy dollars so what we have here if we look at our balances here our debits here uh, on the capitalizing of the computer here plus the debit here on our discount to our notes payable here that would balance with the credits here on our notes payable of three hundred and twenty thousand here and a hundred thousand dollar cash payment okay so we've taken care of uh, recording this here at the issuance of the note here. And just again here, just to look at this capitalization, this computer system. Remember those were those payments here, $264,970, the present value of those payments, those four payments, and then the down payment here of $100,000. So that gave us our $364,970 capitalized amount here. And then I'm not showing the depreciation here, but this would have to be depreciated based on the computer system's life here, less any um, salvage value here. I'm not showing that. All I'm showing is um, re the, the purchase here, the payments, and the interest that we charge. So let's look at um, those payments here. So this is where those $80,000 payments. So we'd 
reduce our notes payable each period here by 80 each year here by eighty thousand dollar cash payment here years x2 through x5 and then um, debit our notes payable reduce our notes payable by that amount and then the cash payment that would have to be made here reduce our cash account by eighty thousand dollars each of those next four years here again years x2 here through x5 those were those uh, installment payments that we're looking at now the other other thing we have to deal with is the actual interest expense here on this note and again what we would do is this comes off our amortization schedule here so our discount to our notes payable remember we started out with fifty five thousand and thirty dollars here and then we amortized that discount here um, starting out first year was twenty one thousand one ninety eight if you go back to your amortization table you end up here with five um, fifty nine hundred and twenty six dollars so you credit or you reduce your discount by that amortized amount here each um, each year here and then the uh, debit amount the associated debit amount we go through the interest expense here on our income statement debit that here by the amount of the reduction in your discount that is what you recognize as interest expense on this zero interest bearing note on your income statement again years two, uh, years two here through year five Again, discount that we had to calculate uh, based on um, those three hundred and twenty thousand um, dollar uh, value of those four payments here. We discounted those back here uh, to the issuance of the note here, and they were worth um, two hundred and sixty four thousand dollars here. And then what we would do is we just subtracted that here from the three hundred and twenty thousand dollars worth of payments and that gave us the discount here that we had to amortize and again over here on our income statement that interest expense here that was based on that eight percent or the effective interest rate or the implied interest rate here on the purchase price now the zero interest bearing note didn't have any of those uh, any implied in well it had only an implied interest it didn't have a stated rate of interest but what it did have are those f uh, four payments that were required here of eighty thousand dollars each and okay so that takes care of our recording here calculating and recording this zero interest bearing note that was exchanged here for this equipment or this computer system and based on the installment payments that were required here to pay the, down this zero interest bearing note.